which celebrity's death actually made you cry? While a lot of them have deeply affected me, Bowie, Robin Williams, Kerry Fisher to name a few others mentioned elsewhere in the thread, and I've definitely let a tear or two slide on some of those when seeing some particular bit of their films or music, only one made me cry just from the raw news of their death, Jim Henson, Steve Iwin and Alan Rickman, John Candy, Fred Rogers, he was genuinely the nicest man to anyone who ever met him. Edit, I'll admit to tearing up at everyone's responses too. I'm glad he impacted everyone's lives so much. It has been a great read even the few snide comments which I'll respond to by quoting Fred Rogers, you've made this a special day just by your being you. Leonard Nimoy I still miss him. Chris Cornell. Jim Henson for sure, maybe not a traditional celebrity, but the Muppets, Fraggle Rock, man, I'm still sad thinking about his death. Gene Wilder. I remember exactly where I was when I heard the news. I was sitting down in a sandwich shop and it was broadcast on the store radio. I heard it, but it didn't really register at first, but as soon as I got home it hit me and I had to lie down and cry for a few minutes. Kerry Fisher and her mother Debbie Reynolds when they died within a few days of each other. Sam Lollyard. Can't watch Scrubs without feeling caught up was listening to the Blanks cover of Hey Ya the other day and I just froze. Never had a celebrity death have any effect on me in the past. Terry Pratchett. Scott Lynch wrote a blog about it that beautifully describes what his loss felt like to fans. There is no past tense of Terry Pratchett. Brittany Murphy. I used to watch her movies all the time with a friend of mine who is also now deceased. I still get sad watching her movies. That actor from Star Trek Anton Yelchin. Crushed by his own car. Stanley. I have been reading his comics since the late 80s. He has always been a part of my life and his philosophies really impacted my growth as a person. I remember watching Mal Rats and being amazed because who the hell would think to have Stan cameo? Besides one of my people, I guess. I know it's not all rainbows and puppies, I know about the issues with Jack Kirby and Wartnet, and I get it. But Stan was the face slash figure head of comics for a long time. I was so glad he was able to live to see his characters properly brought to life, those of you old enough to remember the older attempts will understand. Given his age, and the reports, I hope he understood it all, at the end. Excelsior. Anthony Bourdain. I'm a chef and his impact on pretty much everyone in my industry is immeasurable. Kitchen Confidential is easily the most impactful book for most all of us. The most amazing way of translating and speaking about food slash chef culture. His shows had an amazing way of highlighting other cultures and the way food brings people together, no matter where you are from, and showing that a lot of our differences are purely cosmetic. That day was easily the quietest day I've ever spent in a professional kitchen in my life. Everyone was just silent and upset. Edit. Thanks to everyone who shared their feelings about him. It's crazy to me to see how much influence he had in so many people's lives of all walks of life, even if they aren't a part of the culinary industry. It's a credit to who he was as a person. For a lot of the comments here, I just want to say really quickly. If you're suffering from depression or having suicidal thoughts please 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 talk to someone. Friends, family, therapist, phones lines, anyone, everyone. You matter, no matter what you may think, and you matter to others around you. Please open up and talk to people. I cried over River Phoenix and Kurt Cobain when I was a teen. Long time ago now. As an adult, I will admit to having to wipe my eyes when I heard Chris Cornell died. It was just such a shock. So many of my musical heroes from my youth were already gone. I'd really thought he'd be one of the ones who made it to a ripe old age. Made me want to wrap Eddie Vedder in cotton wool and make sure nothing happens to him. Heath Ledger. Freddie Mercury. It was really hitting hard at that time in my life, and I still remember when I heard the news in the car stereo of someone giving me a lift. 
we were both in tears, and it was one of the saddest moments I had ever had back then. Not to mention, when I had a chance to go to one of the first Queen concerts after that, feet, Paul Rogers tour. When Brian May played Love of My Life all alone out there on the catwalk, I could not hold back the tears, still. Edit, wow, thank you for all the comments and awards, I did not expect this D. Bowie had me bummed pretty hard, but Robin Williams was so unexpected and tragic that my wife and I toasted him, and I did shed a couple tears. Darlors O'Riordan. UPD, thank you all, she's in my heart. Chris Farley. David Bowie. They played Starman during a tribute show to him on the radio the day after he died. I was pulling into the car park at work as it came on. I waited in the car to listen to the end and so I could compose myself afterwards. I'd lost my dad a year or so beforehand and it just really hit me. God down ed dash. Alan Rickman. That was just such an unexpected one, and I genuinely cried when I read it. He was such an amazing actor and human. It's still sad he's gone. Robin Williams and Chester Bennington. Linkin Park got me through the darkest parts of my life and kept me alive. My dad died by suicide 10 years ago when he just came back into my life and I lost my entire world at that point and LP and other bands helped me through. Chester's death rocked me, and so did knowing I would never get to see them live. I saw the tribute concert they did for him. I remember vividly during Numb I think, they called out to the audience I want you guys to sing, so loud Chester can hear you, and I broke down. I could hear the audience start sobbing. Every lyric hit me before his death, and hearing leave out all the rest or Numb makes me realize he was telling us his story the whole time. Being suicidal, you listen to stuff like that, and you understand it on a different level. Robin was just a pure soul who made me and millions of others laugh, all while hiding such pain and an illness he couldn't control. It's a bit like how we say in Narcotics Anonymous, what happens when the person who kept you from relapsing relapses? It was such a cold and empty world after they left us, and I never even met them in person. Grant Imahara from Mythbusters and Grant Thompson, they made me get into science. Semicolon. Edit, words are hard. Steve Iwin broke my kid's heart. Naya Rivera, knew it was unlikely she'd survived, being missing in a lake, but it still stung, when they announced finding her, was still hoping for a miracle. Jim LaHaye. Chester Bennington. Neil Peart. Phil Hartman. Most have listed others that affected me like River Phoenix, Robin Williams and Carrie Fisher, but Phil Hartman's death just seemed so wrong. By all accounts he was a lovely man and his acting slash voiceover work was simply top notch that shows like the news radio were lost without him. Selena Quintanilla. I was just a kid when she died, and I still remember how much I cried when my parents told me she died. To this day I feel this overwhelming sadness when I hear the song I could fall in love with. Phil Hartman. Patrick Swayze. Alex Trebek. My immigrant family used to watch Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy religiously. He was always on TV when I was alive. And hearing how he died really broke me. Just on his back porch swing with his wife as he went. It made me really think that one day it will be your last day. And what you wear that day, everything you do, what coffee or breakfast you had, or whatever, is going to be your last, and that's it. And just the way he went out was so beautiful. Edit, thank you all so much for your comments and the awards. I went to have a beer and this blew up. To clarify, I'm still alive. I meant to say, my whole life he's been around, but I apparently need some English lessons ha ha ha. And to the person who had a problem with me saying my immigrant family, I want to clarify. I come from a family of immigrants who worked hard their entire lives and continue to, and they worked very hard to learn English. And game shows is what they would watch to help them learn. So these shows remind me of being with my family too. Kristen Agrimi. 
I was a huge fan of her since the beginning, having followed her on YouTube since about 2010. She was only 22 when she was shot in the head and killed at her concert by a crazed fan. Her brother jumped the guy and the killer ended up shooting himself in the head in the struggle. John Prine and Guy Clark. Legends of their craft. Bill Paxton. I really enjoyed him. He was very well liked by those around him, and I was looking forward to seeing him in more movies. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Tom Petty.